Okay, welcome to episode three. Where we're gonna talk about how to make the ball move in a Pong-like manner. So we're gonna create a new C-sharp script. We're gonna call this ball. I'm gonna open that up. So, we're gonna create some variables. So we wanna get the transformation of the ball. We're gonna call I'm going to make a private, which means it can't be accessed anywhere else and won't show up in the inspector to change. Vector 3. We're going to call this direction. And then we're going to create a public float. So you can change this in the inspector. going to call this speed. Now in the start, we're going to do this, which means this object dot direction. So this means we're basically referring to the object that this script is attached to is equal to new because we need to declare a new vector three just because we have a variable doesn't mean that it is an actual vector three yet it doesn't have anything assigned to it so vector three and we're gonna we want it to move on the axis of x and z because we know that if it's y if it moves on the y-axis, it will fly towards the camera. So because it is a float, we want one f. F just means float. Zero f for the y-axis, and then one f for the z-axis. So f is just here, so it knows that it's a float, because it is a float, versus an integer, which can't be a decimal. That's all that means. So an update, we're going to do this dot transform because we want it to move dot position so we're oops we're getting the position of this object not the scale not the rotation but the position then we're doing plus equal so we're adding to it constantly the direction times the speed semicolon now a new function we're going to add to this because since it's hitting a lot of stuff, because it's a pong ball, we want it to detect collision. So we're going to make a new function, void, on collision, enter, and in parentheses, we want the variable we're passing in from the outside world as a collision. So whenever it hits something, and then we're going to call this, for short term sake, we're going to call it col. So now, this is a bit complicated. We're going to do vector 3 normal equals, oh, my bad, col.contact 0, oops, in a hard bracket, 0, dot normal. Save. Then we do direction. Setting the direction again equals new, oops, new vector three dot reflect the direction, comma, normal. This is a bit complicated. So basically, what we're doing here is just reflect once it hits something, it takes the one, the contact that it hit just then, and then reflecting off it, like by 90 degrees. That's essentially what's happening. Um, so now we're going to set some if statements. Actually, you know what? We'll save that for next episode. That's not important right now. Now we just got to see if this actually worked. So, oops, an error. What is the error here? Black does not. Oopsie daisy. My bad. That should be good, I think. Here. Hmm? Oops. Okay, so my bad. Not a new vector three. That's my bad. Just a regular vector three. Based on what we already know. That's that's okay. All right, my bad. Now should work. So we're gonna drag this onto the ball. And we're going to set the speed to 
probably going pretty fast. 0 0.2. And also we're going to add a rigid body to this. Just so it collides with things and knows what to do. We want it to move on the X and Z and freeze on everything else. Uh, it doesn't use gravity. That should be good. Hit play. Yeah, there we go. It's moving around. Sweet. So now, if we want, you can make the ball bigger, you can make it smaller, you can make it faster. It's honestly up to you if you think the paddles are too big or too small. Just make sure you shift click both of them and you can adjust the scale manually or through the transform tab since both of them are pretty much the same object and hit the Z here. Let's change the Z value. But that's pretty much it for the ball. Uh, next we'll be handling uh, score and goals and that sort of thing. But until then, see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.